d square minus 4d plus 13 okay into y is equal to 0 so implies auxiliary equation is how much m square minus 4m plus 13 equal to 0 now you can apply the formula and get the answer m is equal to uh, minus b minus of minus 4 plus or minus root b square means 16 minus 4 into this it is 52 divided by 2a so that means 2 so m is equal to 4 plus or minus root of this one is minus 36 divided by 2 so which is nothing but 4 plus or minus 6i divided by 2. So finally m is equal to 2 plus or minus 3i. So I have taken 2 common and I can cancel it. So therefore your complete solution or complementary solution by c is equal to how to write? It's a complex pair. Two plus or minus three i e to the power two x e power two x into c one mm. cos three x plus c two sine three x yes so in this way we have to write complementary solution next what we need to do is particular solution so for this particular solution yp is equal to phi of x divided by f of t which is equal to how much cos 2x divided by d square minus 4d plus 13 Okay, so what I said, first you have to identify what is A value. So what is A value? Quotient of X. So quotient of X is 2. So in the place of D square, you have to substitute minus A square. So minus 2 square. So this is nothing but minus 4. So in the place of D square, you have to substitute minus 4. So cos 2X divided by minus 4 minus 4d plus 13 okay so which is nothing but yp is equal to <coughs> cos 2x divided by minus 4d plus how much 9, yes, nine. so since it has converted into d term so we need to multiply with conjugate of denominator. So what is the conjugate of denominator? In the middle, you have to change the symbol, multiply and divide that term. So that means minus 4d minus 9 divided by minus 4d minus 9. So again, it will cancel, we will get the same term. Okay. So therefore, yp is equal to minus 4d minus 9 into cos 2x divided by a plus b into a minus b is there. So it can be written as a square minus b square. So that means minus 4d whole square minus 9 square. Okay. So this is nothing but yp is equal to minus 4 capital D of cos 2x Okay, minus 9 cos 2x divided by, so this is nothing but 16 d square 
minus 9 square means 81. Okay. So therefore, yp is nothing but minus 4 into, what do you mean by d? It's an operator, right? So here, d is nothing but d by dx. Okay. So d of cos 2x, differentiation of cos 2x. Minus 2 sin 2x. Minus 2 sin 2x. Minus 9 cos 2x. Divided by, in the place of d square, we need to substitute minus 4. Minus 4. So, 16 into minus 4, minus 81. So, yp is equal to So, plus 8 sin 2x minus 9 cos 2x divided by 16 for the 64, that means minus 64 minus 81. So, yp is equal to, so this minus if you send it to a numerator, you get 9 cos 2x minus 8 sin 2x divided by 64 plus 81 is 145. So, this is your particular integral or particular solution. So, therefore, the general solution is how much? y is equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, y is equal to uh, yc e power 2x into c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x okay plus Here I'll write plus 9 cos 2x minus 8 sin 2x divided by 145. So in this way we have to write the solution for sin or cos x in the right hand side. Just go through it once again. Fine. Any doubts? We'll go for next one. So check this once. 
So before going to this, here if you check on the right hand side, there is a multiple terms of uh, cos x terms. Okay, so operator should be plus or minus in the uh, cos functions. Okay, so for multiple functions, that means uh, product of two cos functions, we cannot solve. Okay, so for that sake, we have to split it. So how to split it means make use of trigonometric identities. So I think two cos a cos b. What is the formula for this? If you remember. cos a cos b so this is nothing but cos a plus b cos a minus b cos a plus b plus cos a minus b divided by 2 Sorry, uh, this is uh, cos a plus b into cos, sorry, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. Since uh, here 2 is not there, I will take only cos a into cos b. So, at that time, what you will get? This 2 will come this side. So, divided by 2 will get. So, this identity I am going to use here. Okay. So, for that sake, I will convert this in notation form d square plus 9y. is equal to cos 2x into cos x. So here d square plus 9 into y is equal to cos of 2x plus x. It is 3x plus cos 2x minus x. It is x divided by 2. So according to this identity I have written this okay so in the same way we will find complementary solution or complete solution so that means yc or left hand side should be 0 that means d square plus 9 into y equal to 0 implies uh, the auxiliary equation is m square plus 9 equal to 0 implies m square equal to minus 9 implies m is equal to plus or minus 3i you will get. Okay. So therefore, yc is equal to how much? e power 0x. Yes, e power 0x into c1 cos hmm. 3x. Okay. Plus c2 sin x, sin 3x. Good. So, this is the solution for complementary function. So, therefore, particular solution. So, particular solution is nothing but yp is equal to uh, phi of x divided by f of t. So, here phi of x is nothing but 1 by 2 is there, that 1 by 2 I will write outside into cos 3x plus cos x divided by d square plus 9. Okay, so yp is equal to uh, this 1 by 2. I will split the terms. 
cos 3x by d square plus 9 plus cos x divided by d square plus 9. So in the place of d first term we have a is equal to 3. So in the place of d square we have to substitute minus 3 square. So that means minus 9. Okay, but if we substitute minus 9, what happens? You are getting 0 in the denominator, right? So, whenever you are getting 0 in the denominator, what we need to do is multiply x in the numerator cos 3x. In the denominator, differentiate this function with respect to d. How much you will get? we will get 2d. Okay. Next to plus, in the second term, a value is 1. So, d square, you have to substitute it as minus 1 square. This is nothing but minus 1 square. This is minus 1. So, cos x divided by minus 1 square plus 9. Okay. So, yp is equal to 1 by 2 into, so x by 2, what do you mean by 1 by d? It is an inverse operator. So, this is nothing but integral. Okay. So, 1 by d means integral, integral of cos 3x. Sin 3x by 3. Sin 3x by 3. Plus cos x divided by 8. So therefore, yp is equal to, you just multiply this 1 by 2 also inside. So that you will get cos x sin 3x divided by 4 into 3, it is 12 plus cos x divided by 16. So therefore, the general solution is y equal to yc plus yp. So implies y is equal to c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x plus x sin 3x by 12 plus cos x by 16. So, this is the actual solution.